Hi guys, welcome back. This is a detailed review for a paid antivirus which is called as a Antivirus Pro Android Security. That's from the AVG. So this is available in two versions. This is for the freeware you can see. And they got quite good rating. You can see 4 out of 5 rated 100 million is not less. They are just making the billion very soon. So and they also have for Pro version. This is costing you near 333 rupees Indian currency. You can say $5. So I am using this from a couple of days here. So I did notice some of the points. So I hopefully those points might help you in case you want to decide and want to buy a good antivirus. So let's get started. And before we start, I will give you guys a clue how you can download that app free of cost and you don't need to pay five dollars so you need to stick to the end of the video so let's get started so once you open that you can see uh, it got this is interface here actually it got some bug here there should be some scan button here but i don't know why it is not there it's screens updating database so we'll take a walk through and then we will see some of the cons that i have found so you will get app lock wall feature anti-theft battery usage detail task killer and some of the more EVG apps so it's the way you can get some of the many application functionality in one app for example you've got the vault here and you have a battery usage applications too you get app lock feature too so three four features they have combined along with uh, antivirus protection so this is actually a real-time antivirus protection if you download any application from the play store so after installation it will scan those application and if you update existing application it will also scan those application once they are updated so going inside and uh, the performance you get some task killer so it shows you all the application that are running you can easily kill on one time and can boost so if you want to ignore an application you can leave it that way you can see so it won't kill that application so you need to check out carefully battery usage they have some built-in uh, you know power server mode all things here if you are not liking the android built-in feature definitely you can go and use this feature okay and also it does shows you some information you can see the battery percentage right now 26 degree centigrade and discharging health is good you can get sort of things this is actually more important you'll get to know like browsing time how much you can do video playback and all things and since this is one plus three which has a 3000 milliamps battery so it's quite good so pretty much good thing idle time you can see how much time it was in idle uh, you have the built-in storage usage you can check that actually how much application exactly taking you can easily click from here and it will take you to install section so directly you can view which app is taking a lot of data and along with that you have data usage section too you can easily monitor how much data you are consuming which application how much consuming you can limit that if you don't like the default android data usage feature you can definitely use this feature and you can install some other application clean junk file and all stuff so going back again and i they have this feature uh, if you lock a device if you forgot the device if you lock it there and you can it will take into your selfie if you just try to unlock it three times they will take here and privacy setting you have the app lock feature vault search secure search actually that is a built-in browser uh, you don't need to run the incognito mode of the chrome if you don't have chrome installed so you can securely search the web here it won't record your history it's pretty much safe too call blocker they have built in so you need to first add those things here add a person if you try to call them it will block it so these are a set of features guys and uh, let's see so it's still keep on updating so you can also do and yeah when you go inside the back end you can see just swipe up you'll get some pin protection some kind of optional warning to protect these kinds of application and things are not so they are pretty good to see so these are the things that we have seen as an overview now i won't be knowing like how much security is in terms of protecting against the virus and threats because i did visited some couple of malicious website which are you know not to be illegal to visit but still it's not able to detect means i don't know why now talking about the cons so they have the you know app locking feature but they don't support this fingerprint locking each time you need to see this is app lock there's a passcode if i just lock whatsapp so they are not taking a fingerprint scanner so you need to actually use a pin base so it shows you locked so it asks for the pin it won't support the fingerprint so that actually uh, i don't think so it's a good way because all the applications are phones are coming with the fingerprint nowadays so pretty much good to use that thing going back further and uh, the next thing that yeah, intuitive selfie has shown you guys here inside this entire theft will only work if you lock your device remotely uh, uh, there should be like if you just lock your device if you're trying out uh, some lock pattern so it should take it but it's not taking that case so because some of the application which are especially app lock based they give this feature but we should be remember that this is not an app, app lock application this is antivirus which gives this feature optionally 
so next thing go inside this vault they have this vault feature but it just hides photos you cannot uh, you know browse the videos here you cannot hide the video so that is sort of limitation so this cannot do that thing and as mentioned here guys each time you start here you can see it's showing updating virus database already i mentioned and how much it is uh, uh, protecting against the uh, malware and kind of latest virus so that also you need to uh, see with the time so there you have it guys a detailed review for the avg antivirus pro and now how to get that so there's a bug in the google play store i have uploaded a video yesterday a couple of days back you can just go and check that out how you can download any of the android apps and give free of time so i did not pay for this application i got it as a free so that's it guys for this video now i hope you guys find this video helpful this is sarah we'll catch you very soon have a great day